morning YouTube, how's it going? Speckham Auto is back with a video. Today, we finally start part four of the Corvette series. I am so excited, and I'm sure any of you that's been following the Corvette series is also excited. Oh man, I'm actually running slightly late because I had a, you know, I drank a bunch of coffee. And then, I, you know, next thing you know, I'm in the bathroom. You know, some people have that reaction, so that's what I did. I did my business. Now, I'm going to head out and start my part four of the Corvette series. Let's get to it, guys. <laughs> That's a no-no subject on YouTube. <laughs> Plus, I'm afraid I might, if I say something inappropriate like that, it'll probably uh, go against YouTube standards because you know they're kind of strict these days. All right, so to give everybody an update on this, um, Isaiah decided to start all over again. This time, using fabric spray, this uh, vinyl and fabric shit. Uh, because he's not satisfied with the paint because when you rub on it hard the paint starts to rub off and you can see all the white stuff that comes through He thinks it's ugly and he doesn't want anything to do with it. So guess what now? He's gonna start all over again I didn't want to because this is literally like $14 a can and that's why you were trying to take the cheap route with the paint and I get, Didn't you say in the past it actually worked, but for some reason it doesn't work in this case. Yeah, I've used it on a couple of neons, but I think it's just that this carpet's different. It's a lot like thicker. It's, it's thicker, but like not very fast. It's like a thicker, say, plushier. Yeah, plushy. That's the kind. That's yeah. What I don't want to say fluffier. Because you know, a lot of those old school carpets like this is like like in the eighties and nineties and shit. They're always like plushy. So it has like that really like thick fabric. So that's why we're starting all over again. See, just that alone looks a lot better. Now, I'm not familiar with the fabric spray stuff. Does it supposed to spray out weird like that? It's thicker, yeah. It's like rubberized. Uh, it said somewhere on here it's like rubberized. Hmm. Plus the can is cool as fuck. Did you keep it out in the garage? I did. And you probably should have kept it in the house. <laughs> well. Hey, if it still does the job, fuck it. I brought it down the day that we were supposed to film. So I have it down here. Huh. And then the schedules didn't match. And then I never came back and got it. Yeah. Like I said in yesterday's video, well, I posted yesterday, I don't know when this video is going to be posted, but in yesterday's video I mentioned how there was a few times where we made plans to meet up and either he had something else to do or I had something else to do, so that's why it took so long for part four to come out. But now we're here today filming part four, so here we go guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I know I'm... Sorry for making you guys see the same shit over again, essentially, but I just wanted you guys to at least hear the story on why he decided to go with the fabric spray instead of the spray paint that he originally used and why he decided to go over it all over again. I'm not going to sit here and uh, make you guys watch the whole process, so I'll just get back with you as the process gets further in. It's not going to be as detailed 
Because it'd just be like watching part one through three again. And we don't want to do that. <laughs> Unless you want to, then that's cool, because that helps the channel with views. Isn't that right, Isaiah? Yeah. Yeah. Please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> They sponsor us. <laughs> and the other one that took like two cans to do this one just to cover it, right? It might just be because it's already got black on it. Mm -hmm. Make sure we got everything covered. Okay. <clears throat> looks good, man. It actually looks a lot better than when you even originally sprayed it, uh, sprayed the paint on it. Yeah, the paint does look better on there. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, I think it was the part three video. Uh, we had a comment from somebody that was, uh, concerned about overspray hitting the, uh, Corvette parked over here. Um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick, and uh, he also wanted me to show you guys that all the spray stuff is being contained in the carpet, especially this uh, fabric spray. It's just in a, it's just sticks to the carpet. There's really not much over spray, if any at all, except for like little tiny spots here and there. But none of it is reaching the Corvette. I'll show you guys real quick. If you guys look up nice and close. I'll even go nice and slow across the front. You see just nice, clean white paint. There's absolutely no overspray whatsoever hitting this Corvette. If there was overspray coming this way towards the uh, car, he would have for sure moved the car further out so it wouldn't get hit by the uh, overspray. So I just wanted to let you guys see real quick that there's absolutely no overspray anywhere. And I'll give, also uh, let you guys see that we're not cheating you out of uh, this because this car have, obviously hasn't been washed. Because if you see, the windshield is nasty. There's dirt all over the paint. You see a little bit on my finger there. I'll even bring you guys back here. Yeah, the back is the worst because this is where we usually pull and push the car in and out of here. Um... Yeah, see, we did not wash the car. The car is still dirty. We haven't touched it since we were down here last time. And as I showed you guys, there's absolutely no overspray, and he can even confirm that. There's no overspray. Quit being a hater. <laughs> I don't think they were being a hater. I just think they were concerned more than anything, really. That's why I just painted the black on there. I didn't want to go up too far from... Oh, okay. Because I don't want to hit any of my... Is that, uh, was that what, like, you tested with the fabric spray just now? Yeah, down at the bottom. So that actually, that fabric spray covers a lot better than the other spray. So, so if, may maybe if it I, actually is worth the money. It is, definitely. Because you gotta think, I spent three, four, that was like eight bucks a can. And it took five or six cans to do this back. I feel like these two cans I have are gonna do the whole front. And it covers it a lot better because you don't have to put six layers on it or six layers. Jesus Christ, six coats. And it honestly looks better. Yeah, you you just didn't have any idea that it actually would do that good, which is kind of good now that you know, so you don't have to waste any more money on paint again. Well, <laughs> I just been buying like a can a week for the last few months because your boy's on a limited budget. Oh, that fabric shit? Yeah, I've just been buying like a can a week. Mm. Now, when it dries, I'd like to see how it... If it stiffens up the carpet at all. Like the other one stiffened up the carpet until you rubbed on it. And I rubbed that one all down, so I'm hoping it doesn't stiffen up the carpet. Hmm. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, for sure. Yep, it's looking good, man. Especially over there and... I know you mentioned redoing the uh, carbon fiber wrap on the roof, but I think it still looks pretty good, too. I think it looks good until you get real close to it. It's the first time I've carbon fiber wrapped something that big, so there's there's spots to it. So I really want to redo that. 
I'm thinking about doing this whole part too. From right here up, so it's just like the top half of the car is carbon fiber wrap. And then the bottom half I'll keep white. Actually sounds kinda cool. We'll see how it goes. I was thinking it looked cool as it is with just the roof and not the pillar there. But now that you say, you know, both of it's going to be carbon fiber wrap, I'm just kind of imagining it, and I think it would look a shitload better. See, that's what I'm saying, is I did the roof, and I was like, hey, I kind of want to do the whole top half of the car. I haven't decided yet. We'll see what happens. I, I <clears throat> Now that I'm thinking about it and looking at it from, like, this angle, I really think, just imagining it, just the carbon fiber wrap on the top, I really think that would be a really good idea. I think it would look really sick. C5 wheels soon. As soon, huh? soon as I get my income tax back, C5 wheels. So we get rid of these ugly ass solid shooters. <laughs> and then I gotta get brakes and I wanna rebuild the rear end this year. I wanna put a different gear set in it. Uh, S10s have 373 gears in them. And I think that's what I wanna go with. It'll, it'll pick it up a little bit more. So it won't be so sluggish. Little power bump. Because it, lo <laughs> it looks cool, but it's slow. And it does burnouts, but it's slow. People say it's a Corvette, so it must be fast. But it's slow. Hmm. I'll tell you right now, it's a lot faster than that little fucking tree hugger over there that I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, the electric pole of rice. Yeah. <laughs> My electric rice bowl. <laughs> I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to fix that or not. The whole hybrid pack issue. I'm thinking about just driving it until it dies and maybe getting a different Honda or maybe even getting the car to actually want. Buying a Corvette. I was actually going towards the Dodge Charger, man. Look at me ride a skateboard. Look. Look. I do fucking sick tricks. You want to see it? Tell me a trick to do. Do an ollie. What's that? It's like where you kind of kick up. I don't know. I'm not Tony Hawk. Oh. <laughs> What's a skateboarding company? I don't know. Tony Hawk. Sponsor us. You wish Tony Hawk would sponsor the video. I don't, I don't know if he would sponsor a car video, but... Definitely a skateboard video. It's a skateboarding video. I just got a skateboard. Hmm. Gear on something? No. You never hit your gauges on time? No, because I don't have gauges. Wow. I have gauges in my car. <laughs> but I don't think they ever hit anything. Because I'm lazy. I'm not taking this front trunk out. Yeah, I know there's probably going to be somebody on here that's going to disagree with this oh method. Oh my god, why aren't you guys taking the trunk out? <laughs> hey, I thought you took the driver's seat out. Why is that back in? Oh. I could have swore you took that seat out before. <laughs> I did. It's just sitting in there right now. Is it not even bolted in? Nope. Oh. Well, that makes it easier. That would have sucked if you bolted it back down and take it out all over again. You no, know, I was going to drive it. It's just sitting in there because I was going to drive it up to the house. But then it never happened. Hmm. So, and I don't want to talk it. That's okay. Yes, I know some people are going to hate this method and stuff that we're doing, but we're, like he said, we're doing it the lazy way. We don't feel like taking the carpet out, so we're just going to do it the quick, easy, and cheap way and tape everything up so we don't get overspray on everything. At the end of the day, you won't even know I didn't take it out. Hmm. Just got to be thorough with your taping, boy. And I'm sure you brought plenty of tape, so... Nope. This is all we have. What the... F <laughs> I thought you said you were bringing a bunch of tape. I was supposed to. Oh, and no. I never, I never went and got it. Oh, no.
How are you going to tape your whole interior with that? Actually, I might have some tape in my garage. That would be nice. I'm probably not going to use it anytime soon, so if you want to use it, I can let you use it. Hell yeah, I'll replace it later when I have money. This is the last video we're going to be taping here. Last Corvette series video. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this way slowly. You can put Remembrance music in right here. How'd that look? Pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try that. I'm just fucking with you, dude. Well, I, I, okay. Well, maybe I'll do it just for shits and giggles, though. Oh, dude, I'm my biggest fan. I make myself laugh. You're your own biggest fan. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> you have to be, because who else is gonna be your biggest fan? I don't know. Exactly. You have to be your biggest fan. Well, I know I've always been my biggest fan. Exactly. Well, technically, now that I'm dating my girlfriend, she's technically my biggest fan. No. Shout out to my girlfriend, Hope. I love you, hon. Every video, shout out to Hope. Which I still haven't met, and I'm very offended about. Well, she's she's in college and she works and she has a very packed schedule. So I don't know when you're going to be able to meet her, but I'll try to have you meet her sometime soon. I have a very packed schedule and I would cancel spaghetti night. I would straight up cancel spaghetti night to meet her. Do you have an actual spaghetti night? Absolutely, you don't. No. That's weird. Is that like a weird tradition you grew up with? <laughs> No, when I join the Mormon community, that's what we do. Huh. You're a Mormon? Yeah, shout out to my Mormons. Hmm. Cool. so far it's far so good i'm like literally like looking through this back hatch window trying to hold the camera in here <laughs> chad is hoping it'll stay at a good angle so i can see what you're doing i think it's in a good angle so far no overspray yeah just keep at it man you got this I might tape more so I don't have to do this the whole entire time. Because right here is really difficult. Oh, no, never mind. Is it good? Yeah, that was easy. Hmm. Let me swing my arm back over here now that there's room for me to fucking see. Look at, look at the difference, dude. That's crazy. Like, you can see the difference so much in the video. It's, like, clear as day. Like, even compared to this carpet that was, like, under the seat that didn't get sun bleached. Looks 
worse than what you're putting on there now. It looks really good. Hopefully this time none of it will peel since it's actual fabric spray. Yeah, I think the fabric spray was worth it. Well, I guess that's just a life lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. You do and you fail and then you do again. Possibly fail again. Huh. We don't know yet. <laughs> Well, failure is not the end of the world. When you when you quote unquote fail, it's just an opportunity to keep learning and trying again until you master it. So shout out to anybody out there that's having a tough time in life right now, feeling like that they're failing. Don't think that you're a failure. Think that you are. You just did a tough time right now. You'll come out of it, you'll learn from it, and you'll be a better person in the future. So shout out to everybody that's going through a tough time right now. Yeah, buds. You're not always going to get your carpet right the first time. Of course, of course. So you think if we don't get it all done today, like you said, you think there's going to end up being a part five? Yeah, we'll honestly probably just get, I mean, what time is it? Um, it is 11.23. I got a few hours, I mean, at least an hour and a half. I was going to say, like an hour and a half, because I got to take off around one o'clock, because I got a job to do. A job. A gerb. I'm taking all our gerbs. Yeah. Get my taxes back so I can buy car parts. Uh, uh. Shook the can. It flew into my mouth. <laughs> um. That's nasty. Well, I'm sure it's not supposed to taste good. It means when I shoot the can, I might be throwing shit all over the place, so I gotta be careful. I don't know, maybe take it out of the car and shake it outside or something if you need to. I don't know. I'm just shooting ideas out there. Well, this can's finally almost done for. Is that your first can? Yeah. It went a lot farther than the other stuff. You might not even have to touch your third can. Oh, I probably will. Well, actually, yeah, probably, because you still have these two carpets back here. So, yeah, you might. And plus, you have this door panel over here. Right, did you already redo the door panel in there, or no? Yeah, I've redone it, but it needs redone, redone. Like, with the actual spray. <laughs> And move out of the way here. There we go. Well, that looks good. Progression. Progression. Looking good, man. Looking good. You can just, like, see the difference just from this angle. The driver's side is before, passenger side is after, obviously. Look at the difference, guys. That is just so insane. And guess what? He hasn't had any overspray yet. Good news. So nobody has to worry about overspray yet. I got a little. Oh, no. You ruined it. Way down here at the bottom. Oh. Right down there. Come on, Isaiah. We're supposed to be professionals here. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Off. Yeah, yeah. You just see the difference, like where the footwell is. It's crazy. You're gonna like be so impressed when you see this uh, comparison clip right here. You're gonna be like, "Holy shit!"
need to tape down here before I do this side. Tape where? Right through here. Oh. Or get something to cover it so I don't have any overspray. Hmm. I was going to suggest just popping that trim piece out, but that wouldn't really do anything, especially because it's screwed in, it looks like. Are you out of tape? Almost. Well, like I said earlier, um, if you run out of tape, we can just run down to my garage real quick. It's right around the corner. We can uh, okay. get my tape from over there. Okay. I should have a green roll and a blue roll. They're both masking tape rolls. the auto tech days even though mr hedges didn't teach our class shit <sighs> no the only way to learn in that class is just kind of bring your car in and do your own shit yeah which i learned a lot doing that yeah i've learned a bit myself but i don't know in a way i was i was one of the people that preferred like actually being taught you know what i'm saying like there was a lot of people in our class that was let down because of that. Like most of the, I know for a fact, most of the people that were in my auto tech class don't even have an automotive career at this point. Like they're just kind of doing their own thing. That's kind of what I'm doing too. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. Like I didn't go to tech school or anything. I just kind of started going right to work after graduation. And I've been working ever since. And it's going five years now. It's hard to believe it's been five years since I graduated, man. It doesn't even feel like it's been you know, five years. It's been four for me. Like, realistically, if I had to, like, think of how long it felt, it really felt like it was only, like, maybe two or three years. But it's like, you look up and it's like, five years. Wow. Because, you know, class of 2015, it's now 2020. Five years. <laughs> It actually kind of makes me feel sad because it makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Class of 2020 was still in diapers when I was in high school. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Today, this is going to end the uh, part four of the Corvette series. Uh, like I said earlier, we ran out of stuff like uh, tape and whatnot. We... Uh, or actually kind of cold because I guess his heater doesn't work. It's like 32 degrees. Yeah. Well, when I left the house, it was 32. So it's like it's literally at freezing. Um, but yeah, this is this is gonna wrap up part four for today. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends and family on your social media, subscribe to Spec M Auto, hit the bell icon so you don't. You know, get left behind or out of the loop for when videos get uploaded. What are you doing? I don't know what to do with my hands. Are they cold? No. I've just never done this before. Oh. Okay. Okay. But anyway, follow Spec M Auto on Instagram and Facebook. Twitter Plus or Google Plus. I don't have either of those, but oh. I might I might do a Twitter page one of these days. It depends on how this channel goes. I think the channel's doing pretty well, so maybe there will be a Twitter account sometime soon. 
But alrighty, guys. See you guys next time. Have a good day and stay safe out there.